So Power World just received its biggest update yet. The Secure Jima update with it absolutely massive changes have been added into the game. Some incredible new additions and features and today guys I bring you what 50 plus things you need to know about Power World and this new content update. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So taking a break from Elden Ring, I've jumped back into Power World and I've been massively surprised by the amount of new things to do and farm for within the game. And with this video guys, I'm going to bring you many, many of these new changes, these quality of life implementations and much more. So yeah, this video is mainly for players who once played Powered and are interested in the new things uh, added into the game via this update. Now, I've had a few days early access thanks to Pocket Pair, so I was able to try and find as many new things to showcase to you guys, but I have absolutely no doubt there are new things that have been added into the game that I have missed. So let's get into it people and these are minor changes to massive improvements and new additions. So firstly, new pals now there are many many new pals in this update i mean i've made a video uh, which i'm uploading pretty soon showcasing all the new pals and where you get them from but there's quite a lot here guys for you to go out farm for get those rolls breed them create those combos so yeah plenty of new pals which we did expect so besides the new pals in regards to gameplay we'll start at the bottom there are brand new settings for players that play on their own server or host their own server uh, with options that allow you to expand and how many bases you can actually have per guild this is a great great new feature in my opinion there are also a couple of other minor changes here too guys so check them out so into the gameplay well what you will still notice is your power box now has 10 plus more pages for you to collect and breed those powers and stock them up. I think now it's like double the amount, double the capacity you could have previously, which is unbelievable. You can also guys uh, level up your base even further in doing so on this, even on official servers, it will allow you to get to uh, a level 25, I believe, and allow you to have at fourth base, which is pretty cool. Now, in regards to building those bases, not only are there new structures, which we'll check out in a quick second, and new ways of building. When it comes to building walls and snapping them side by side, like these massive gates, or whatever you call these, these giant walls, these uh, barricades, these now, if you put them close enough to each other, they snap together, leaving absolutely zero gaps. And so this is exactly what I need with my base. Now, in regards to the player and your powers, they've added five extra levels to both you and your pals being max level now 55 they have also guys raised the level of the legendary powers found on your map so that will be jet dragon necromus palladius and frostalian these have all been risen to a level 55 now to know that bringing them in line with that player's max level pretty cool so there's also people many many new additions in regards to blueprints from structures like the glass architect structure which we'll check out in a quick second I actually built myself a little house out of that we have plenty of new saddles for the brand new um, powers that are in the game there's loads of these too we also have uh, plastial armor plastial is a new metal which you create out of normal metal and crude oil crude oil being a new material which we'll also talk about in a second we have a cold food box a box that can be kept cold when you assign a nice power to it the food inside is less likely to spoil pretty cool we have energy cartridges for <laughs> laser weapons again more plastic or armor we have the oh ultra or ultra ultimate sphere we have hyperglot we have so many things guys we have a refrigerated crusher which um we can obviously assign a power to i use my frost stallion to uh assign to mine and it generates certain things you're seeing it on screen now we have uh frag grenades mark 2 so a grenade ammo launcher for the grenade launcher we have heat resistant plastic armor cold resistant plastic armor we have a gatling gun people with gatling gun bullets too we have a pal disassembly convoyer yes you heard that right a pal disassembly convoyer what the hell is going on we also have the ultra shield we have the lightweight plastic armor we have a guided missile launch pretty cool we have missile launch ammo and we have here a saddle for unknown power we have a couple of these because some of the powers yet i'm yet to actually catch but we, it doesn't end there guys it, it does not end there we also have guys 
a few new additions in the ancient technology tab, which we have the lock picking tools. These can be used on chests that normally require copper keys. We have also, when we come down, we have people, I uh, just saw them just a second ago. We have the large generator, which you'll see right here, a facility that stores electricity generated by uh, a ray power, does that say? It has become larger and improved power generation efficiency. We also guys have the sulfur mining spot, and we also have the coal mining spot, which are built both in my base, which you're seeing on screen now. Now, in regards to the large generator, this is something that is needed to power up this thing right here, which is the crude oil extractor. Now, crude oil is a new material too, to power world with this update. And there's certain spots on the map where you can put this down, but it does require a lot of electricity. And in regards to the large generator, uh, you need a minimum of two powers and this one's super super leveled so you need a minimum of two electricity powers to even run this thing and to be honest it doesn't mine that fast i'm not gonna lie but hey yeah so there's plenty of new blueprints here as well guys so yeah pretty cool now just talking about the actual structures we see now that you can actually create bases out of glass which is pretty cool and what i like most about these is guys you can see straight through them obviously being glass but hey it's still a great great addition so yeah a welcome one too now also they've added in pillars even for previously purchased and owned blueprints like concrete, wood, uh, metal. If you want to create a metal base, you can now use pillars to get wild in your design, which is pretty, pretty cool. Cannot wait to see what people start creating out of these. Now moving on guys to a few more minor details, there is now a repair all option at the bench. Now this one I thought about, was this there before? I'm not sure, so I decided to add it in. You can also guys favorite those powers and locking them in place, which is pretty badass too. Now the monitoring stand now allows you to set certain powers to certain workstations via the fixed assignment manager. This is a great, great thing. There are also guys new additions like power skins. Yes, you heard this right. There are certain skins you can earn in game and they also stay at a game, which will allow you to change the appearance of your pal. Pretty cool. What you will also notice guys is new random events that spawn in and around the map. Now the two I have seen are the random supply drops which just drop in that new loot and we also have guys those meteor showers. These drop in brand new materials like meteor fragments used for certain things. We also have super rare powers that drop in with these too and much much more so pretty cool. There's also guys spread in and around the map, new random scrap piles. Now depending on where you are on the map, the level of the piles around the certain area, the harder the difficulty of the area that these scrap piles are found in, the better the loot. Pretty cool. There's also guys now dog coins. Now dog coins can drop from various different things. Uh, even pals have dropped these for me, so it's pretty badass. But there's also guys new vendors where you can spend these uh, dog coins, like the vendor you're seeing right here on screen. With these dog coins, you can purchase some seriously new badass stuff, like the mysterious accessory box, which is increasing the amount of accessories you can wear at once. We also see some of these traders selling these fruits, which allow you to upgrade your power and yourself permanently. Pretty cool. Now, you can also, guys, add new markers to the map. Yes, allowing you to place now up to 300, I do believe. We also guys have the new PAL Arena and that's located right here on the map. This is a multiplayer exclusive though and you can't enter it within your own private island. So yeah, keep that in mind. There's also guys a brand new tower boss in the game. Don't really want to spoil it for you but she is a absolute badass. We also guys have this new rig site area found right here on the map. This is a hard place to get to, a hard place to navigate and a hard place to actually run through. But within here guys there are some new secret hidden chests which can drop you. Those are legendary blueprints and much much more. So yep keep that in mind. There's also guys a new raid boss. And again with this raid boss you will have to find his fragments. The raid boss is, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, it's Blaze Mott Ryu. Pretty cool guys. But yes, there we have it for the things you need to know about Power World. Uh, some great little details, some amazing new additions. And yeah, do what you gotta do here, guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.